Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Grit Game Day. Your host, Garth Massey, is here with McKay Roberts. Huh? <laughs> looking, good. looking good. How are you feeling today? Uh, I felt better, to be honest. <laughs> you don't look so great. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh. You guys, Grit Game Day, uh, as this being the first one, this is going to be a good time. We already do Grit in the Pit. That's going to like highlight the top teams. That's going to do it. This is way more of a talk show. We're just getting into it. We might ruffle, ruffle some feathers. We're going to do some hot takes. Vegas, actually, uh, the win, called us up and they wanted to sponsor all of our odds and wanted to do all of our betting. So they actually designated a bet professional, an analyst, they call it. Yeah, I think he's kind of a scam, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to uh, create all the bets. So everybody, for these uh, Rumble matchups, and a lot of you will be having this, your first day, you're going to be watching this tomorrow. We're going to be going through every matchup. We're going to be going over overs, unders, and the odds are insane. There are for sure some Vegas slip-ups. As this, uh, this win betting professional has absolutely no idea what the hell he's doing. So, uh, McKay, any, any words before we get this uh, gr first grit game day started? I mean, looking at some of these matchups, I'll just be honest. I'm already leveraging up the house, <laughs> yep. and uh, I'm taking it to the bank with, with some of these. Should we just dive in there? For sure, some slip-ups. We'll leave it at that. 100%. So, but before we even get started, I need to introduce a few of our uh, key uh, players as well. So, of course, you got Garth Massey, McKay Roberts. Then we've got our weatherman, Carl Witherman. Hello, Hello, how are we doing over there? Oh, we're doing great. It's a little hot, but I'm loving it. <laughs> well, hey, we'll... Uh, We'll uh, bring it back to you in a minute, Carl. Did, is he okay that? No, I don't know. I don't know. But hey, Carl, good to have you. So chime in, Carl, whenever you feel like you need to chime All in. Right. Let's just get right. <laughs> let's just get right into these odds and uh, let's get it rolling. Where, the first. Where'd you find that Carl guy? No, I, I actually don't know. He just showed up in a suit. Okay. <laughs> but he looks great. I don't know if his mic works, but the first marquee matchup. We're actually going to get started with the hottest matchup. I believe that is going to going to break some records here tomorrow. We've got Portland versus Seattle. We just came off Memorial Day, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Actually, I don't think we will. Let's just take two minutes to talk Memorial Day. Good hell. Crazy. You were, you were behind all the numbers. You were looking at it. What were some of your predictions, and did we, uh, did we, hit, the, did we hit what we thought we were going to hit? Uh, yeah, I think I thought two million was going to be a success. Okay. And, uh, you know, 5, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, I didn't know if we were for sure going to hit it. But sure enough, troops rallied. West Coast teams brought us through at the end of the night and they did. Cleared, cleared two milli. They did. How about, how about some legends? Legends were made. Dude, how about our guy, Jacob Nold? Jeez, dude. $21,000 for the rookie. Rookie. That's, rookie record. That's spooky. Then the crazy thing, and I love this. No one loves this man more than I do. Good old Jameson Hansen. Dude. Absolutely just made it happen. You love to see it. He was knocking with Corbin with Drew, and with Calvin in the same market. The only one that was missing was Jerem, and he just put him to shame. Yeah. He just put Daddy Drew in his place. Yeah, that's right. I think he, I think he double Drew. To I, be honest, I think, tripled. I think Drew's actually pretty washed up. <laughs> he might be a little washed up, dude. I guess he's a little concussed or whatever, but he's a little washed up. So, Drew, don't take that personally, but take it a little personally. 325 burgers out of Portland. Yeah. Not bad. They wanted that 400, but 325 will do. Yeah, what's the record? I think 300. I think they broke it. They, mu they must have. I think they broke Philly, it. Philly, two years ago, did a little over 300. Maybe 300 on the dot, so 325. Not bad. Got the job done. Got the job done. Got the job done. What What do we mean? I walk, just for context, I walk in on Dawson editing this video, and I, I just, I had to make an amendment. I couldn't believe it. Got the job done? I can't believe the way Garth just blew past that. Like, you guys didn't make history. Yeah. They wanted that 400, but 325 will do. Like, you didn't outsell every team that Garth, John, Ben, or anyone else in the company has ever sold on. Portland just made history. Portland made sales history. All the All the Stop underestimating the boys. How many times do we got to tell you? Never underestimate Preston Strickland. Never underestimate Portland. It's that simple. Hey, happy Memorial okay. Day, everybody. Over two mil as a squad. Uh, we'll be shouting out, obviously, some more people in the late, or in the uh, grit in the pit next week. But we're not, this isn't a shout out episode. This is, like I said, <laughs> ruffle feathers. Let's get right into it. Seattle, Portland, these are some crazy lines. And these will be popping up here on the screen. The money line is sitting at Portland 
minus 250. For those that, those that don't understand how betting works, there's always a degenerate in every office. So I'll explain it once and then ask the degenerate in your office to explain how odds work. So in Portland and in Seattle, you have the money line. For example, Seattle winning, they are the underdog. Not only are they the underdog, it's almost a, it's kind of an aggressive line. Yeah. This saying, if you bet $100, the money line for Seattle to win is plus 280, which means if you bet $100, you would win 280 if Seattle won. You'd get your $100 back plus 280. That's an insult to Seattle. Yeah, that's pretty tough. And frankly. minus 250 for Portland. But Portland did come out hot. They did. But hey, we, can, we can't really give our educated uh, picks until we hear from Carl. Carl, what's it looking like, dude, in Seattle and Portland? Well, you see Seattle, uh, it's a little rainy over there. You know the rainy, rainy Seattle, they might call it. Uh, it's 57 degrees, perfect in my opinion, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And in Portland, we got a, it's a little cloudy, 20% chance of rain, and a high of 66, so a little bit hot. But eh, hopefully the, the rain doesn't affect the hotness too much. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. Okay, so we're looking at the over-under is 240K between the two of them. Between the two of them, 240K. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to go with it. I don't love the odds here, but I got to go with Portland. I have to. What about you? Yeah, I'm taking Portland as well on this one. Uh, you know, Seattle at plus 280 is tempting. Uh, but I just think, uh, you know, I just don't see a world where they make it happen. You don't think so? No. And, and Carl said it's raining in Seattle. And we'll see if that impedes them or, but hey, if you've got Seattle taken, you can make some cash. You can make some cash. Next up, we got Boston versus Denver. We've got uh, bad boy James Fox versus Salty Brock Grieve. That line is at Joe Boston's favored, minus 150. Denver underdog, slight underdog, plus 125. Yeah, I like Denver on this one. I think this is a sleeper pick. You know, we got Brock Grieve back in action, leading the troops. Uh, I really like this at plus 125. I think that pays pretty nice. Yeah, that is nice. But with the weather for these guys, Carl? It's pretty cloudy over there uh, in Boston. We got 75 degrees with Denver, 83 degrees getting into summer, but it's cloudy over there. Not, not lots of sun. So the weather looks great. Exactly. <laughs> the weather looks awesome. Uh, you can't ask for much more. 75, 83, partly cloudy. Uh, the over-under there is 140K between the two of them. I think I'm hammering the over on that one. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, with both these teams, you look at their Memorial Day production, if they can even get anywhere near that, you know, you should be making money on the over. You should. So I'm going to take – I'm sticking with Boston, though. I think Boston – I don't love that line. I think it's a lot closer to, like, even money. But I like Boston. I was up there visiting the Boston Dogs. Dude, they're hungry. They're ramping. I'll take Boston there. Chicago-Houston, some big dog squads. We've got RJ with that squad, Shear with uh, uh, the Woods. That line, it's almost basically even money. Chicago is a little bit favor favored over Houston. Weather over there. It's looking, oh, you tell me. You tell me, Carl. Well, in Chicago, we got 67 degrees, partly cloudy. Pretty good knocking conditions. But then in Houston, oh, brother, 85 degrees, thunderstorms, and a 60% chance of rain. So Oof. it's looking a little sour over there in Houston. Ooh, 85 degrees, though, should get the job done. The bugs will be out. The bugs will be out. So here you've got Houston. I, I think I'd actually take Houston here. They came out also extremely hot on Memorial Day. I think they're riding that. Can the Sarge uh, continue the, to push the dogs, though? Can they do two hard days in one week? Yeah, I think so, Cody. I mean, he's been doing this for about longer than anybody. Uh, you know, you look at Memorial Day, their per rep was 4,400 versus Chicago's looking at, you know, 3,400. So... Beating them by almost a thousand bucks uh, per head on Memorial Day. I, I don't see a world where Chicago makes that makes that up uh, tomorrow. Gotcha. Well, next we've got Boise and Jacksonville versus Columbus. Uh, this one, Boise and Jacksonville. So this is uh, this is Kevin Glenn, Hudson, then Jacksonville, Justin Coleman, Ralph. With this squad, though, they were actually on a per rep average the best. Except this is the one thing that's going to get thrown in. They don't quite have 15 guys combined. So they are being divided by 15. That's why normally, or they, whoa, they actually still are the heavy favorite. Vegas has them at minus 190, and Columbus is plus. That's an insult to Columbus. That's actually an insult. Yeah, I don't know if these odds makers knew what they were doing when they made <laughs> they these. Don't. They uh, don't. But yeah, I guess we'll have to just take uh, <laughs> Boise on this one. So you're taking Boise. The weather in both places. Carl, I, I, I don't know, but it looks pretty nice both places. Yeah, we got some sun in Boise and Jacksonville, 72 in Boise, and 80, er, 86, 88, sunny in Jacksonville. <laughs> uh, Columbus, we got 67 degrees and 
potentially some rain. Okay. So Columbus, if, if you think that that's a lock, it's some free money out in Columbus. But Columbus, uh, for some reason, Vegas thinks you guys are going to get absolutely shellacked. The only time will tell. Next up, we're moving to Des Moines and White Plains. Over under there is at 150K. Uh, this is basically even money. The line, the Vegas could not discern between the two of these. Weather looks, Carl, it looks pretty, I mean, you tell me, I'm not the weatherman. So uh, in Des Moines, we got 76 degrees, mostly sunny, pretty good. But then in White Plains, 75 degrees with scattered thunderstorms. So make sure you're not the tallest thing around. So you don't get shocked. Yeah, you don't want that. You exactly. don't want that out there. Uh, let's move on. You know, I'm, I think I'm going to take White Plains, though. Yeah, I think you're crazy. Yeah. Uh, I'm for sure taking Des Moines, and I'm also taking the under uh, on 150K. The I, under? You don't think those I'm, team, two teams combined make no, up 150K? No, I'm taking K. the under, and I'm taking, I'm taking Des Moines winning the round. Yeah, I think White Plains takes it. Uh, the under, though, that's aggressive. You don't think both those teams combined do 75K? No, I don't think so. Each. They did 190K on Memorial Day, and I don't, I don't think they're going to be doing more than that. They don't have it in them? No. They can't rally. Jake Nold can't do it all. Who's going to carry yeah. the boat? I mean, Look, he, 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 there's no way he goes back back to back 20K days in the same week. I, I hope he does, but I just don't, I just don't think it's going to happen. Does he have it in him? I texted him today. I, th I assumed he'd be asleep, and he said, uh, you, you don't sleep. It is, you, you don't sell 20K sleeping or something like that. That absolutely put me in my place, and I deserved it. Jake yeah. Nolden's a Marine. Yeah, those Marines are different, man. They do. They're just men. Yeah, definitely He's selling with like, a bunch of boys right now. Not like you. No, definitely not like me. So, I guess you got Des Moines. Moving on to Nashville uh, versus Tulsa. So, we've got Nashville with the uh, minus 120. So, there's, they're, uh, you know, favored. Where Tulsa OKC is just even money. Over under is only 75K between the two of them. That's kind of aggressive. Yeah, that that's, a dis low? that's a disgrace, frankly. That I'm taking the over. You are on 75K between yeah, two of them. Yeah. Uh, and the weather in Nashville and Tulsa. <laughs> Carl, talk to us. Give, so, us, give so, us it raw. So Nashville, mostly sunny, 76 degrees. Or, sorry, wrong page there. It's 81 <laughs> degrees. So a little bit more toasty. But in Tulsa, we got 82 degrees with scattered thunderstorms and 40% chance of rain. Mm -hmm. So, so they're going to have to pull it out if it's a 40% exactly. chance of rain. But 82 degrees and rainy. That's, that's called the Midwest, everybody. That is the definition of the Midwest. Who do you take versus Tulsa and Nashville? I got Tulsa on this one. Uh, you? you know, I'm not worried about rain. I know the troops out there, uh, you know, near and dear to my heart. Mm. Those guys, rain, shine, it don't matter. See, that's a biased opinion. Very yeah. biased. Yeah. Sometimes, I, sometimes bias can make you more money, though. Yeah, that's true. I'll take Nashville on this one. I think Cash, Jerem, the boys down there, dude, they're gritty. They get the job done, and they popped off. They were one of the, what, three teams that hit their goal on Memorial Day? They said they're going to do something, and they get it done. That is true. Stop you, sleeping on Cash, You've bro. got a good point, Cash. He's sleeping on you, bro. Cash, I hope you prove me wrong. I just don't know if you guys are going to get it done. Moving on to Omaha and Baltimore. A couple of these guys, absolutely. A couple of leaders here that are just as good as they get. You got Caleb. You've got um, Kinzel. I was out there visiting. Those guys are about to ramp heavily in Baltimore. The over-under is 125K between the pair. We'll see if that holds. But Omaha is actually favored. They're favored handily, too. Minus 130 in Baltimore, the underdog, at plus 120. Ooh. Yeah, this one's tough. I think this is a coin flip, frankly. I mean, these teams seem pretty fairly matched looking really? at the numbers. Uh, you know, I think I'm slightly leaning towards uh, towards Omaha in this one. Really? They are favored. But, uh, you know, I think this one could go either way. Weatherman out there in Baltimore, how's it looking? So, Baltimore, we got 79 degrees, uh, rainy, and thunderstorms. So, Kay. hopefully that doesn't slow your guys down. Uh, 78 and sunny in Omaha. Okay, so, so they, they, the, weather, the weather in Omaha is looking a little, little better. Exactly, perfect. It's looking incredible. So, well, that might be why Omaha has a slight advantage. That might be. But that's the thing, dude. With those Baltimore boys, dude, they don't give an f They actually don't care. Yeah, you know, it's a game of inches. It is. So, that's what they say, right? We'll see, it, uh, they do say that in football. They do, and, 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 and in sales. Uh, I'm taking Baltimore, though. I think Baltimore pulls it out, actually. Those guys don't care about the rain. They actually sell better in the rain. It's actually crazy. Moving on, uh, Kansas City, and I was going to say Waco and Orange County. Oh, wait. This is the last day the Waco boys will be in Waco. After this next, after tomorrow, they're moving out to Orange County to join the Orange County boys from EcoShield. And those EcoShield boys are, those guys got the job done on Memorial Day. A hundred burger with 30 guys, fresh, learning the grit, the grit pitch. They're getting the job done. But we've got 
Looks like Waco, they are the underdogs though. Waco and Orange County, they're the underdogs versus Kansas City. And Kansas City, oh my gosh, dude. Did you see what they did on Memorial Day? Dude, yeah, that those was guys, insanity. Those guys popped off. <laughs> those guys popped off. 4,500 no, 4, per rep. Yeah. Not bad. No, they went off with Gavin, Bennett, Adam, that whole squad. They went off. The weather both places. Uh, Carl. Well, in Waco, we got 85 degrees, chance of rain with thunderstorms. Uh-huh. Then Orange County, it's 70% chance of rain, partly cloudy. Uh, Kansas City, we got 79 degrees, mostly sunny. So it's looking good in Kansas City there. So Kansas City, and that's why they are favored mm -hmm. heavily. I might actually take Kansas City. Part of me wants to obviously call out on the Waco and Orange County boys, but I think Kansas City is just hot. So much of the Rumble, though, what we talked about, though, is just who can, who believes in it. Like, with Memorial Day, a lot of people are like, dude, do we do two back-to-back -back or two hard days in a week? The people that don't give an F are going to be people that win this first matchup. Yeah, I'm with you there. I think, you know, the numbers are, are one thing, but you look at the leadership and, uh, you know, the culture of each team, I think that's going to be the biggest factor in a lot of these matchups. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. So I, I actually take Kansas City on this one just because I think those guys can turn up. I think Waco and OC can as well. I think this might have to be together to turn up to the maximum, uh, maximum effect. Next up, Louisville and Cincinnati. This is the last matchup. Louisville, Cincinnati, it's almost dead heat. Louisville's favored by a little bit, minus 110. Cincinnati, plus 120. Um, Louisville, Cincinnati, I don't know. I don't know. Over-unders at 120K. I'll probably take Bug Shark. Do you like Bug Shark with this one? Who's that? Cincy. Oh, Bug Shark. <laughs> Bug Shark. You know, Caleb, I, Tyson, the boys in Cincy getting the job done. I actually like Louisville in this one. You know, you look at what Chase Hafen's doing out there with the squad. Yeah, you know, they've been turning up. Yeah. And uh, I think they make it happen. And whether in Louisville, whether in Cincinnati, how are we looking there? Uh, so, Louisville, we got 75 degrees, mostly sunny, looking up. Uh, Cincinnati, we have 71 degrees, partly cloudy, with 20% chance of rain. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hammer, I'm going to get some money. This is, I think this is a great bet. I think I'm taking Cincinnati on this one. Plus 120, you just, you just can't go wrong with it. So everybody, those are the Rumble matchups. Those are the Rumble matchups. Remember, there are nine total Rumble matchups. Your record is what's going to determine in what class you're in. So every week, every Wednesday, they'll have a new Rumble matchup. You need to win as many as you can for a chance to make it into the heavyweights, where we all know the coveted prize of... 50 bands. 50 bands. Gets the job done. So $50,000 to the winning team. Um, and obviously, you know, it's a, way more about the money. Like Parker Anderton, I wish we could have him here. He could uh, say a couple words. The guy's won quite a few times. It's not about the money. 50 grand is chill, though. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, you know. It you, doesn't hurt. You take that 50 grand, you know, with some of these odds and some of this knowledge, you turn that into, you know, 250, 300 grand. You turn that into a million bucks. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Fast. So before we uh, take our, we're actually going to pass over to the money report. But before we do that, let's actually get into some hot takes. These might ruffle some feathers. McKay, do you have a few hot takes that you would love to share with the people before we, uh, before we roll to the money report? I do. I've got a few. Okay, talk to us. I've got a few hot takes. My first hot take, this one for sure might ruffle some feathers. But... Hot take number one, from today on till the rest of the summer, I got Daniel Love as the number one rep in the company. For those who don't know who that is. Previously known as Daniel Hansen. He's back. <laughs> He's back with a vengeance. He's back. Selling in Denver, there's not a better man out there. Uh, but dude, this guy, he, I'm telling you, he rips. He's so slept on. He sells him fat. And How did you do yesterday? Nice. How did you do yesterday? 12K. He did 12K. Was this his first 12K, day back? Uh, no, it's, he's in the first week. He's getting a rest off still. Uh, it's a casual 12K. He's nice. Daniel, he came in to visit us. He decided that he was going to go a different path, and he ended up coming back because he just felt cold. Back to the grit. Daddy called, and he came back. Welcome back, Danny Hansen. And uh, hot take. He's going to be the best rep from here on out. That's what you're saying? It's pretty hot. That is hot. That is piping hot. Hopefully Corbin, hopefully uh, Brannett Gill, Brock, everybody listening. All right, hot take number one. Number two. Number two, Corbin might have it after me after this one. But I got the best rep in Portland, Bo Barbin. Oh. <laughs> best rep in Portland. Heard it from me first. I'm what do you mean you, by what is best rep? Best rep. going to sell the most in the summer block. In the summer block in the in Portland office, Bo Barbin will have the most revenue at the end of the summer. Wow. He's hot. He's hot right now. Too. Don't let me down, brother. Do you have any more hot takes? 
not so much a hot take, but if you want free money, you're going to slam the over on the Portland Seattle oh, matchup. Oh, that's your mortal lock. That's your my mortal, mortal lock. lock is what? Yeah, 240,000 over under between Portland and Seattle. There's just there's just not a world where they don't do 240k between the two of them. What did they do Memorial Day? They did like 400k. <laughs> Port, Port, Portland alone is probably going to do 240k. We got <laughs> Portland did 305k and Seattle did 140k. You know, we're talking 450k between the two teams. So how, they're going to do at least half that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a what what should that's the what, they, what should the line be? That's what I'm taking the 400 HELOC. 400. All the HELOC <laughs> is going towards that. What, what should the line be? 400. Uh, yeah, probably. I I think I like. 375 for the line on that. Mm. You know, Memorial Day is obviously a day. Uh, you know, I don't think they're going to do 450 or even 400, but I think, you know, so like, 350, 375 is probably, you know, where it should so be. So easy money. Yeah, that's free money. All right, my three hot takes. Uh, I, I actually have a different hot take. Corbin might hate me as well for this one as well. Dude, I think Jake Slezik is going to be the top rep. Dude, like, that guy is not slowing down, he is coming out hot. Dude, that guy's doing. That guy is, what was number one last week? Yeah, if you look at the numbers, I mean, Corbin's got him year to date, uh, but Corbin's logged more, you know, more days on the doors. If you yeah. look at, you know, since since May one, uh, he's not he's not too far back from no. Corbin. It's I think he can get the job done. Jake Slezik, dude, is he's on a mission. Chip on his shoulder, you know, he's got something to prove. Hundred percent, he's the most improved rep last year, and he's just gunning. I don't know what he's gunning for this year. Mill million five, he's gonna have to. A lot, a lot. Jake Slezik, number one, number two. Uh, congratulations, first of all, to Brock Grieve. Had his baby. Sweet, uh, sweet Winnie. There's a few other babies. There the are. Sheer, Foxy, Alec Withers. There's definitely missing a few. But Matt Bro Duvaloy. Matt Duvaloy. Brock Their Wilde wives, of course. Their wives, of course. Brock Grieve just got out there. Surprised his squad from Memorial Day. I think he did 12K on Memorial Day, day one. Yeah. Didn't he skip sold a beat. His, sold his first two doors, I want to say. Yeah, back he's back. back. My hot take, and this isn't even really probably that hot, I think Brock Grieve does a golden door before August 15th. Yeah, I mean, he did, he did two last year, so to do, you know, one. One in, like, like half reasonable. the time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he gets it done in, like, two months. I'm, my hot take is he just does it before August 15th, which gives him, like, two and a half months to do it. And I think yeah. he gets the job done. So there's some hot takes, piping hot. They will become more controversial. We wanted to ease into this. Uh, before, actually, let's just pass it over to Scott for the money report. Scott, to you. Thanks, Garth and Easton. Now we'll jump into the money report. Tons of things to go over. First of all, yeah, we're stacked with cash. Second of all, important notice about your back end. Okay, no, thank you, Scott. Uh, now, as we end this final grit game day, you guys get out there. Get after it. It's about the team that buys in and has the most energy and love. It, it, the Rumble is not about you. It's about the team. So this Wednesday today, you guys get after it. Go yard, as Danny and Mark sang for us on Memorial Day. It's just going to take everything that you have, to, one, to make it into the heavyweights, but two, to win it all, and it all starts today. Any, McKay, any last words? No, leave it all out there. You know, you're going to want to be in that heavyweight division, that's for sure. So, no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. As for this episode of the Grit Game Day, thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you next week.